Hello everyone, this is Stephanie Manley and I'm still a fountain pen freak and today I'm going to show you three purchases that were made at the Arkansas Pen Show. Now I bought these from Van Ness. They happen to have these inks before anyone else. Um, I know Goulet is going to start carrying them and I'm sure plenty of other people will start to carry these fabulous inks as well. They are from Korea and let me show you, they are pretty cool. They come in boxes with two different colors, or some of them do. And um, this one has Schrodinger and Cat. So Schrodinger's Cat. Um, they come in two bottles. This one does. This is, I'm not sure what season it is, but pretty cool. Um, these are pricey inks. They're $36. Um, but they come with tchotchkes, so they come with a brochure that uh, has more information about them. So um, these are the colors that I got. Okay, so this is season three. So I got the Schrodinger's Cat, and then I got the Gluon and Photon, but I did not get the String and Brain. Uh, and let's see, and I also got, oops, I didn't get any of these. So let's see, so they come with tchotchkes. They come with stickers. Um, I don't know why you'd want stickers, but, uh, what is this? It's a, uh, you get a bookmark and a pen stand. Okay. You get a napkin to wipe off your ink and you get some stickers to go with it. So this one again is Schrodinger and Cat. So it's a blue and a green and they come in two bottles. They're not the same size though. So they do a really nice job on all the packaging. So this one, oh goodness, the label came off on this one. Um, this one's for cat and it's glistening and you can see there's a lot of shimmer in there. So we'll give it a shake and I'll go ahead and do a sample of it. But the bottles are super cute and clever. So I will show you what they look like. And then here's the Schrodinger, which is a really nice green color. So I'll go ahead and swatch those for you. Now I'm going to swatch them twice. Uh, I just need to find where I can put my Q-tips. Okay. All right. I will say that these little bottles are a little bit hard to fill from. I have already used one of the colors. I will show you in just a moment. I used Supernova and I spilled ink all over the place. Um, at the show, so I walked around with hands that were completely uh, covered in ink. So I'm going to swatch these on both Tomoy River paper and I'm also going to swatch these on uh, just regular cardstock as well. So, I'll tell you. So they come in, I believe it's a 65 mil and a 15 mil bottle. You see, it's really nice colors. They are not, um, they're not water resistant or anything else like that. So you can see that's a really nice, let me get that in focus here, um, really nice green color and we'll do it right here. I always like to swatch twice because I don't think you get the true color from cardstock. Okay, so there's the Schrodinger's and then... I will do the cat. So let's find the cat and the cat. Now these I haven't used, but a friend of mine inked up. I believe she did the green here. It's a really nice blue. I would kind of reminds me of Bay State blue, Noodler's Bay State a little bit. That is so bright. Okay. Let me get these up. You see they're really nice colors. So that's what's in this box right here. And again, that's Schrodinger and Cat. This is a season three. All the goodies back in the box. Back in the box as well. 
So, but they're really nice, nice inks. Now, the one that I did open was the uh, Supernova. You'll be able to tell that in just a second because I managed to spill ink all over the place. So this is, I guess, I don't remember if it's season one or season two. So this is a single color of ink and it comes with both bottles are the same. So not always the case, but sometimes the case. So you got ink all over the place. These boxes in me actually keep because they're just so cute. But, you know, uh, you definitely pay for the great ink. Okay. Supernova and Supernova. Okay. This I kind of shot through. Now this one, um, it sheens a bit. So hopefully this will pick up just fine. I used it in my Peniter. It's a very wet ink. I will say that extremely wet ink. I think this one shifts a little bit red. It's kind of a cross between a turquoise and a blue, but it's really nice. Um, we'll compare this to their other blue. This is the cat. So definitely a little bit more turquoise right there. So that dries. I'll show you that, but it's great ink, very, very wet. I put it in a medium nib in my Peniter, which I, th this is my like ideal fountain pen because it just bleeds ink all everywhere. So it's almost like writing with a broad, um, very, very wet ink. I will say that. And oh goodness, I hadn't even opened up this box, the Photon Glue On. So I will say that they probably have, I don't know, 15 or 20 different um, types of ink. I'm gonna have to get a pair of scissors and cut this. Okay, a very strong label. box. It's awesome. All right. So this is, again was one of their season three. So napkin, bookmark, and pen stand. And this one has two. This one has a glistening ink. And that's the glue on. You can see it's, it's going to have a copperish shimmer. And this is the photon. And we'll go ahead and do Photon. But I can't wait to try out more of these. I haven't tried out all of my ink that I purchased at the Arkansas Pen Show. Um, I purchased a lot of ink there. Um, I think I should go to a meeting when it comes to the ink. This is kind of an unusual color. It's kind of like um, a yellowish green color. All right. And you can definitely see something going on in there because there is a lot of little particles or some colors are pulling out more than others. So I will probably use that in greeting cards. All right. And now I will show you the photon next and then I'll Ah, oh, darn it. Okay, so here's the glue on. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and show you the glue on right here. This is the shimmer in the series. 
So you can see there is some really pretty kind of copper shimmer in there. So we'll give that a good shake and then we'll grab these uh, samples out. So when we were at the Arkansas Pen Show, these inks were selling very rapidly. Van Ness was great. They brought some of them uh, in the store. They brought some of them to the Pen Show and the rest were uh, purchased at their party. They had a party uh, Friday night, which was a lot of fun. Um, so I purchased a couple bottles there as well. Okay, so here's the glue on. Here's a Tomoe River paper and the cardstock. It's kind of a yellow greenish color. I don't know where I will use those. Probably a greeting card or a letter or something. My cats are chatty. They've got things to say. Okay, so the last ink we will do is the Photon. Probably don't need to shake it. Um, this was a really pretty color as well. I gotta say, I thought all of these colors were really nice. So this one I don't think has any interesting properties other than it's a gorgeous color. All right, and it's kind of a nice turquoise-ish color. Okay, but here we go. So out of this set, again, this was the Gluon Photon. This is the Tomoe River paper. All right, so this is the Colorverse, the Photon Gluon. Um, again, Tomoe River paper and then just straight cardstock. Um, this is a little bit damp, but I can pick up some of the shimmer kind of right there in the edge. So this was a gorgeous color. Um, the Supernova, which I'll show you next, just kind of to wrap this up. Gorgeous color. Uh, again, this is the Tomoe River Paper cardstock. Very, very wet ink. You can see some sheening right there. There's some red. This one sheens red. So this one was really nice. And let's see. This is the Schrodinger's Cat. And this was just a really nice kind of green color. So this one, I think it looks like it shifts red as well. Um, a little bit different than Supernova. It's more of a blue. This kind of reminds me of the Bay State blue from Noodlers. So there you go. These are great, great inks. Definitely would recommend, you know, if you have a certain color that you like. Um, you may want to pick some up. They're really gorgeous inks and um, definitely worth checking out. Again, a little pricey, $36 for the combination. So that's 65 plus 15 mils. So that's 80 mils of ink for $36. A little bit pricey. Um, but uh, hey, there you go. So I hope you enjoyed this kind of look at Colorverse inks. I think they're great inks and very happy to try them out. And I hope you give them a try as well. But there you go, it's kind of my uh, look at Colorverse ink. Let me know your favorite ink and maybe you have something that I need to check out. And again, thanks so much for watching.